Good morning, Washington Elementary Patriots, and welcome to WSIC, Washington School's Cool News Program. I'm Eli, your news anchor for today. Today is Friday, December 2nd, 2016. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Mode of the Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Ahoy, matey. The book and your book fair is now open. Be a smart shopper. Don't show friends and classmates your money. You don't want some to be tinted and taken. You also want to make sure you spend your money wisely and have fun shopping. Last night was the GWES Tech Night, and it was amazing. Our school hosted several visitors from a galaxy far, far away. Teachers and assistants, if you volunteered your time to make last night a success, we thank you. Today is the second day of the third annual GWES 12 Days of Christmas Celebrations. Be on the lookout for those who participated in Flannel Friday. On the menu for lunch today, you will have a choice between taco salad and turkey and cheese sub, Mexican beans, fiesta corn, baby carrot cups, and mixed fruit with fruit slushies will also be served. Let's check in with our other WSIC reporters to see what they have to share with us today. Today on Get to Know, we will learn more about Ms. Good, who is the physical education teacher at our school. Thank you, Ms. Good, for joining us on Get to Know. I have a few questions to help everyone get to know you a little bit better. Where do you live now? I live in Bluntville, Tennessee, on the farm where I actually grew up. It is a family farm, so it's actually the same farm that my father grew up. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to do an Olympic-themed field day? In observance of the Olympics this year, we usually, when I'm teaching, I do summer or winter Olympics. So since the Olympics was going on, we decided that that would be a fun theme for our school to observe and do. What is your favorite game to play? Hmm, that's hard to pick. You mean like the my favorite game personally to play? Mm-hmm. A board game or a running run game? Any. Any. I think I would pick kickball. Mm. I love to play kickball. When did you decide to be a physical education teacher and why? I decided after I actually started college. I didn't know going into college what I wanted to be. I just knew I wanted to do something outside because I love the outdoors. So it was between a park ranger or a physical education teacher. And I felt like I could touch more lives and influence more young people by becoming a physical education teacher. And we get to do a lot of games outside. So that's, that's how I became that. What is your favorite lesson you have taught in physical education so far? All my favorite ones are themes, like when we do uh, ball or... Thanksgiving, and with the holidays coming up for winter, all those special themed games are, are my favorite. Thank you, Miss Good. It was great getting to know you. I'm Alex for Get to Know. Now back to the studio. Review. We are talking to Daniel Pond from LCC. Welcome to the show, Daniel Pond. I'm excited to hear hear about the book you just caught, read called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. 
written by J.K. Rowling. I have a few questions about your book. Who is the main character? Harry Potter. How would you write this book? One is horrible, and five is tell your friends all about it. Five. Where is the setting in the book? Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Okay. My, my favorite character in the book is Harry Potter. What's yours? Dumbledore. What made you, you interested to make you keep reading this book? I, I started reading the first book, and then I thought it was really good, so I just kept reading, reading it. Okay. Thank you, Daniel Pond. If you would like to check out this book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, by J.K. Rowling, Visit our library or search for it on Overfly. I'm Logan for this week's, week's book review. Now back to the studio. Good morning. Today's weather will be 45 degrees with periods of clouds and sunshine. Tomorrow's will be 45 degrees, mostly cloudy and chilly. There will be some afternoon rain showers and drizzles tomorrow as well. Showing us what to wear tomorrow is our weather bug. The weather bug today is June from Learning Center A. We can call June. Thanks for your help. This week, reporter Alex Caldwell has done an amazing job at bringing you factual information about the human skeletal system. She writes, Today we are wrapping up on bones. That is all about bones. I hope you know more about your bones if you break one. Which one was your favorite? Or was it all of them? Thank you for listening about the bone on our bone adventure. Here is a picture to refresh your mind. Let's report back to the news desk for fun thoughts. Thank you. Remember, if you have anything exciting happening in your learning center, Please let WSIC know. Send an email to our crew at WSIC at K12K.com. Yesterday, yesterday's riddle asked, what has a head, a tail, is brown, and has no legs? If you answered a penny, you are correct. We will finish off the week with a great joke. Mr. Hefner will love this one. What musical instrument is found in the bathroom? A tube of toothpaste. Reporting for the WSIC crew, I'm Eli. Tune in next week for your WSIC news. Have a fantastic Friday.